Hello, today I'm gonna test the audio output of these two 17-inch uh, Macs. On the left I have a, a 2006 PowerBook G4 and on the right uh, early 2008 MacBook Pro pre-uni body. They look almost the same, the MacBook Pro on top is just a little bit longer and the ports are different. The PowerBook has a 1.67 uh, GHz PowerPC processor with 2GB of RAM and uh, 60GB IDE SSD and the MacBook Pro has a 2.5 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo processor with 6GB of RAM and um, 256GB SSD. I replaced the DVD drive in a MacBook Pro with a 1TB uh, mechanical hard drive. I have a video about it on my channel. The PowerBook is running Leopard and the MacBook Pro has uh, El Capitan installed. First I will do a boot time test. The difference in brightness between the two screens is obvious. The MacBook Pro is already on. Followed by the PowerBook 19 seconds later. This is a constant level sweep tone from 10 Hz all the way up to 22 kHz. It was generated with Audacity and saved as a waveform audio file format and is the same, exactly the same on both computers. On the left is the PowerBook and on the right is the MacBook Pro. In the red circles you can see the frequency and the uh, output level in millivolts. The scope is connected to the line outputs of the laptops with a volume level set at maximum. As you can see, the audio level on a MacBook Pro is much higher than the level on the PowerBook G4. The audio card in the MacBook Pro is an unspecified Intel high definition audio, while the PowerBook uses a Bohr Brown 3052 chip. Approaching 20 kHz, the audio level gets more and more uneven. These are my test files, they are the same on both computers. For playback I'm using the preview function which works the same on both uh, operating systems.
next I'm gonna try to find out uh, how much the output level changes at different frequencies. I know all the files have the same levels, so in theory I should get the same uh, output level on uh, all the frequencies I'm testing. The maximum output level is at around uh, 1 kHz on uh, both machines. The PowerBook seems to have a slightly smoother response out of the two, but the level is much lower. Above 20 kHz the sound is uh, considerably degraded. Keep in mind that uh, most of the people, myself included, cannot even hear those high frequencies. So that was it for today. I hope you liked the video and uh, thank you for watching.